Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hi, sir. Hello. Hi, hi. This is teacher May Sam. Can you hear me now? Yeah. So I am Mai, Mai from Egypt. Your name is Mai? Yeah. From Egypt. Yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. So do you have my voice and my video clearly? Yeah, of course. Cool. Fantastic. Great. So uh, what is your occupation? What do you do? Well, I'm studying languages at University of Languages. I'm studying English, Chinese, academic Arabic, and I'm going to... I wanted to prepare for IELTS exam. I'm getting an A every year so that I can take a scholarship uh, to travel abroad and uh, prepare for master degree and so on, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah. You have got a lot on your plate, right? Yeah. You're yeah. super, super busy. So are you uh, studying linguistics? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. I see. Fantastic. Great. Which year in university, you said? I'm um, going to go the second year. Mm -hmm. Sophomore, right? Yeah. So first we say freshman, second year sophomore, third year? I don't know. Junior? And th uh, fourth year we have? Senior. Good. So freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Yeah, I know junior and senior. Uh, I, I, I have heard before about them, but I don't know the sophomore. This is the first time to hear about that. Thank you for this information. My pleasure, my pleasure. I am here to help, actually, to help students, teachers, friends, everyone, <laughs> if I can. If I can. Okay. Thank and you. I heard that you are going to prepare for IELTS, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can recommend you to uh, check my YouTube channel. There are a lot, a lot of videos there. Uh, I think they can be useful for you guys, especially okay. for you. Uh, I because will I am, subscribe I am, now. Yeah, I am dealing with languages too. Actually, with only English, actually. But of course, I am curious sometimes and uh, go to my playlist and uh, you can find IELTS and TOEFL yeah there I subscribe is... right now okay cool thank you very much subscribing and and watching I mean I create these videos for people to watch and also you can you can check the interviews that I have with other teachers around the world and I think they can be useful too right uh, wow. Yeah, you can also check them. And sometimes I, I create some documentaries you know, as a hobby. But mainly, mainly I focus on, uh, you know, teaching English and also the something related, which is related to English. Yeah, like that. Mostly people do not talk, do not engage. But your name was Mai, right? Mai. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. maybe you can you can talk, you can ask questions. Uh, challenge me with with good questions and topics. <coughs> mm -hmm. Who was coughing? <laughs> I think I think this is going to be a a very surprising session for you uh, all, because normally people do not open their camera on this platform, right? This is a surprise. surprise I know people basically. No, no. Uh, I have met uh, before. People that uh, have a video call, it's, a, it's up to you to have a video call. So it's more uh, clearly and more comfortable to see you when you are talking. Of course, it is much more realistic. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question, sir. Mm -hmm, sure. Uh, how was your start with, uh, with English? Because uh, this is my start with English to really uh, apply the information that I'm, I have studied before uh, to my spoken English. This is the first time to really uh, force myself to speak. So I'm a little bit, a little bit uh, struggling about my pronunciation because of my native uh, language, you know, Arabic. 
Arabic. So I'm struggling a little bit. So any advice from you uh, about the beginning? Mm -hmm. Actually, you're quite good. You know, all you need is, you know, self-confidence. Everybody needs self-confidence, even me. I mean, every single person needs, uh, you know, uh, self-confidence. Apart from that, practice and practice. How can you uh, improve your pronunciation by practicing it? But I always say you can use technology. It is very easy. Most of the people know, but they don't know how to use it, how to manipulate it. Everybody has a telephone, right? Smartphone. Right or tablet or whatever so download the um, um, google translate app on your telephone okay? okay set it on english find yourself a sort of short story or a, any kind of paragraph okay try to read it as slow as you can as slowly as you can read it and of course you have to be clear read it and let's see how much Google Translate can understand you, okay? I would say if a robot, it's a robot basically, if a robot can understand you well, I think yeah. human beings can understand you even far better. Yeah, I did that before uh, with um, Google Assistant. Okay, You know, this possible. application possible. To, to have a conversation with a, a robot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, you can try that, but I would say the best way to improve your pronunciation, okay, is to speak, listen, imitate, and speak. Watch films, TV series uh, systematically. My students say, okay, teacher, I am watching Netflix. Okay, good, but how do you watch it? Do you watch it for uh, entertainment or do you watch it purposefully how they say i don't know they just they just have no answer i say watch it twice first for entertainment and understand it maybe of course you can use your mother tongue no problem second time for the second time i would say watch stop and take notes you see, oh, I like this expression, take notes. Oh, I, what a lovely word, take notes. I mean, this is systematic studying. After some time, after a while, I, I cannot, no one can actually guarantee, after a while, by consistently and continuously listening, okay, uh, of course, systematically, I can say you will have, you will uh, obtain good pronunciation as well as accent but accent is not that much important i would say but of course you, you need to practice you make mistakes no problem you make deadly mistakes no problem i mean when you embrace yourself when you feel that oh i am a human being english is not my second language although my uh, field of study is english I don't care. I can make mistakes. Even native speakers can make mistakes. Of course, they, they, they do. They do make mistakes. You know, in the interviews, in the shows, if you, of course, most probably are following them on YouTube, they make mistakes and they don't care, right? So come out of your comfort zone, guys. You know, comfort zone is our um, safety. I mean, the safe place of, of ours. So we feel safe there because we are alone in, in our comfort zone. No one is there to judge us. Only we are in that place, right? So if, because, why? Because adults are afraid of being judged. This is the problem. Everyone can judge me, no problem. Oh, this is teacher Mesa. What a terrible accent. Okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah, I am here to help. Oh, teacher made, teacher made Sam made a mistake. Okay, no problem. What happened? Did I kill someone? No. You need to be okay with it. If you, if you are okay with your mistakes, then you become comfortable, okay? And once you become comfortable, you can speak, I mean, um, in a comfortable way without having stress or having phobia oh my god i made a mistake okay no problem make mistakes make mistakes and you can grow and improve
definitely. Okay, I would say. You have a one hundred percent reason. I am one hundred percent reason. What do you mean? Yeah. You mean correct? Yeah, yes. Yes, you are one hundred percent reason when you explain when I uh, I do a mistake. It's not a, a it's not a, a problem. Of course, don't worry about it. Make mistakes, but of course, you know. Uh, don't make mistakes intentionally, I would say, okay? Mm -hmm. Try mm -hmm. to try to uh, be systematic, of course, pay attention to grammar, okay? But don't be obsessed with, oh my God, I made the grammatical mistakes, oh my God, people are going to <laughs> laugh at me, okay? People laugh, people laugh at me, no problem, no problem, man. Yeah. Come out of your comfort zone, okay? I mean, I think mostly people are actually uh, focusing on the message, okay? If I kill myself, if I kill myself, I have been studying and dealing with English for 22 years since, since I, was a, I was a kid, 22 years. I, I am still struggling, I am still learning, okay? But if I, if I kill myself, I cannot be an American or British. It is yes. not the point, mm -hmm. actually. I am Iranian. Mm -hmm. I am Iranian. I have an accent. But I, because I am a teacher, I need to have a good pronunciation because I am teaching it. I cannot, yes. you know, make uh, a lot of mistakes. But of course, sometimes I make mistakes and then I correct myself. That is okay. Even in my mother tongue, I make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Don't you make yes. mistakes in your mother tongue at all? You're perfect. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Everybody, yeah. Yeah, be okay mm. with it. I mean, be okay with it. And that is yeah, it. Your, your channel, uh, it's very good. It's amazing. I I am subscribed in your channel, and uh, it's very good. Oh, I am my... very happy to, to see. My pleasure, man. Where are you calling from? Where are you talking from? I'm from France. From France. Yeah. French. You're a French man. Yeah. Good. Yes, I'm Good French. Good to see you <laughs> here. And uh, you can subscribe and consume the videos. There are a lot of videos there. Grammar, vocabulary, basically. I focus on voc vocabulary. Pronunciation. I talk to teachers also. I interview the teachers. I ask your questions. Because I receive a lot of questions from students, my actual students in the classrooms or from you on social media. Repetitive questions. Teacher, how can I improve my speaking? Teacher, is it possible? Teacher, what should I do? Teacher, teacher. So I compiled frequently asked questions. Okay, I prepared a list. And I keep asking them from native speakers, from other teachers. Basically, they are native speakers from America, Canada, you know, UK, Australia, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we talk, we talk, and I receive some good uh, ideas and opinions. I highly, highly recommend you to go and see them. You know, I always say, teach students say, "Oh, teacher, this interview is half an hour. It is long." Okay, no problem. It should be long because I'm talking to someone. You know, the, my channel is basically an uh, educational channel, okay? But of course, recently I am trying to, I have been trying to actually create some, um, I don't want to say funny, but of course, some, some videos for amusement as well as some documentaries, okay? You can enjoy them. And, but mainly and mainly I focus on uh teaching english over there okay so i highly highly recommend you to watch those stuff uh, majority i mean most of the majority of my videos have english subtitle at least at least english subtitle we put the subtitles there so i mean select the subtitle and check and check the video with english subtitle okay or you can also find me on Instagram. I am not very active on Instagram. I mean, Instagram is a showcase. I mean, Instagram yeah. is a showcase, but of course I am there. What is most important, a good pronunciation or a good accent for you? Fantastic question. 
you know this this is one of the for, for me for me it's a good pronunciation is better than a good accent absolutely you know this quick yeah I, for me too I receive this question a lot. You cannot imagine. Everybody, even the people are calling teacher abs, accent or pronunciation. You know, you cannot imagine. Sorry. That is why I actually ask this question from those teachers. From those teachers, okay? Majority of them, majority of them, I don't want to say everybody, but majority of them uh, said pronunciation is the case. Everybody has an accent. You speak English with Arabic accent, no problem. With Persian accent, no problem. Turkish, French, Spanish, Mexican. Even in America, you go there, they have 50 states. <clears throat> in America, United States of America, they have 50 states. You, ch you travel from this state to, to next state. You talk to people. You mm -hmm. see, it is so strange. Are you American? Yes, yeah. of course. Of course, I'm American. Why, why are you saying that? <laughs> Because yes, it's true. Yeah, you speak differently. Of course, I am American, you know, they become mad, but they have different accents. Even, okay, I asked this question from you guys, you know, go to your villages, village. They have different dialects. Maybe you cannot understand your own country's accents, your own language accents or dialects. What about English, which is universal language? Obviously, we have British English, American English, Canadian, Australian, Irish, you know, South Afri African, a lot of, a lot of different English. Everybody has an accent and everybody's accent is beautiful. Believe yes. me. Be believe <laughs> me, you know, beautiful. What? Why beautiful. Should, okay, it is not the case. Okay, I am Iranian, but uh, I want to be, I, I want to seem like American. Okay, what the hell? I asked this question from uh, native speakers and they, stayed, they said, what? What are you talking about? Uh, they said, it is so weird. Imagine that. What was your name, man? What is your name? Uh, Hugo. Sorry, again? Hugo. Hugo. Hugo, yeah. Hugo, okay. Victor Hugo, right? <laughs> Yes. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <right. laughs> yeah, sorry I cannot read the, the, the chat boxes. Some people say, hi, how are you? Okay, uh, no problem. I, I write for you. My, yeah, my, yeah my, cool. My. Sorry for this because when I talk, uh, and it is very, of course, late here, but I said, okay, I have to go there. That it has been a while that I haven't been on this platform. Maybe I can see some new people and, and reach out new people. Anyway, so uh, Hugo. I, I lost. What was I talking? Yeah, you know, I, 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 for example, I say, I say, I am learning French, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I learn French. I focus on the accent. I have a, for example, for example, I have a great and pure French accent. When I talk to you, say, are you French? This is the maximum question, right? This is the final question. Are you French? You say. So what should I say? Yes, I am French. Or no, no I am Iranian. <laughs> you see, this no, is weird. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I am French because my French is, is fantastic. My accent is really, looks like a real uh, French person, right? So you say, okay, you're French, no problem. After sometimes you realize that I am not French. What happens? What happens? You see, you're, you're a liar. You, you, you will tell me, May Sam, you are a liar. You lied mm -hmm. to me. You are not French. Okay? You deceived me. And you are not a trustable person. You are not a trustable person. So what? I mean, this is the reality. This is the reality, the real story. What happens? Say, of course, I improved my English. Okay? I improved my English. For example, for example, I love American accent, so I follow American accent. I focus on my pronunciation for years and years and years. I focus on my pronunciation. I try to be clear. I try to clearly speak to people. People can understand me. And when they say, where are you from? Okay, I am from France. I am from Egypt, I am from Turkey, I am from Spain, I am from Iran. No problem. I keep my identity, but 
They say, oh, you're Iranian, oh, you're French, you're Spanish, you're Arabic, etc., etc. Your mm -hmm. English is very good. This is the case. This yes. is the case. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, people mm -hmm. are obsessed with accent, accent. Okay, what no, the no, hell? No, no. You know, accent is not real. No. It's not the real case, guys, you know. I am here to tell you. I have been dealing with English for 22 years. Still, I am learning. Still, I am learning. Some people say, oh, teacher, your accent is good. Okay, thank you. But I am not, I mean, I am not proud of my accent because I, I, I mean, in return, I would say, I, I want to hear that. Okay, May Sam, your pronunciation is very good. I want to hear this as a language user, not as a teacher, as a language user. May Sam, your pronunciation is good, is, is fantastic. Okay, this is what I want to hear. Not May Sam, yeah. your accent is fantastic. Okay. My accent can be fantastic, but I am not American. I am not British. So this is the case. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fo I focus totally on your pronunciation. Session, as, yeah. yeah, as as my said, ask actually, are you here, my? I don't yeah, know I'm here. I'm still here. I'm still okay, here. cool, cool. Thank you for oh. listening. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> As you know, in the beginning, she talked, she asked, she, she posed this uh, actually topic. And I said that, yeah, uh, you know, the, the accent is not the case. Uh, focus on, uh, on your pronunciation and use technology. This is the, the, the least thing that you can do. Download Google Translate, guys, okay? Download Google Translate app on your telephone or tablet. Or on your laptop, no problem, okay? If you have a microphone like this or any kind of microphone, it is okay. And what is your opinion about uh, audiobooks? Okay, hold on, sorry. I will answer that, okay? Let me finish this. I will definitely go, ah, okay, go to okay, that Okay, okay, okay. Okay, open your Google Translate, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Open a, for example, a story, short story or whatever. Start to read. Read the paragraphs, okay? Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Start to read paragraphs slowly. Slowly but clearly. Read one paragraph and then compare and see, okay, how much you were accurate. If a robot can understand you, I would definitely say a human being can understand you far better. This is the least thing that you can do, guys, for your pronunciation. Now ask your question again. Uh, what is your opinion about uh, audiobooks? Fantastic. Audiobooks. This is fantastic, man. Fantastic. Why fantastic? Because audiobooks, basically, because they are, you know, uh, narrated by, uh, how can I say, native speakers, they are fantastic because, you know, storyteller telling is, a, is, a, is an art. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it is not just about storytelling. Maybe it can be some other stuff. But mainly and mainly they are stories, okay? They are fantastic. You are, maybe you, you don't have access to books or to some other material, but you have headphones. For example, you are driving, okay? Play it, listen to it. Audiobooks are good. They are awesome. Of course, go for them. But I would say because of the technology and fast internet and, you know, social media, of course, as well as pop culture and everything, podcasts. Podcasts are the best option for, for those people who do not have the, how can I say, access to books or maybe they are not, uh, for example, you are not suitable or it is not the appropriate time for you to... Uh, how can I say, read books because maybe you're driving or maybe you're standing in the metro, I mean subway or in a bus that you don't, you cannot read it. That is the best time for you to listen, okay? Definitely go for that. But the easiest one is podcast because they are basically, basically they are uh, for free. One of the podcasts that uh, I I have been listening to I have been using this platform is Stitcher guys you know I I am right St Stitcher yeah go to Stitcher just Google it Stitcher.com on your laptop on your telephone there's only one app type Stitcher you can download it and it has everything 
news, comedy show, you know, drama, speeches, philosophy, religion, everything, every, technology, health, science. Listen to them. I would say as a language learning, as a language learning tool, download Stitcher and go to browse, okay? I mean br browser or th yeah, they call it a search bar, search bar, you know? And on search bar, uh, type, um, for example, Fox News. Yeah, Fox News is, is fantastic. As well as BBC News, no problem. It depends on your I preference. I prefer actually. BBC One. BBC, yeah, definitely you can find them. Definitely, guys. Definitely you can find them. It's very good because uh, the people speak very slowly. Yeah, exactly. You can go there and um, you can actually... Uh, find your favorite podcasts. Yeah, definitely. Go for it. Yeah, And also, Stitcher has the feature to download the podcast beforehand or in advance. For example, sometimes you don't have access to internet. In that case, you can definitely start to listen to, because you downloaded it before, start to listen for uh, to it um, really uh, comfortably. And it has the uh, how can I say, the feature of, um, how can I say, speeding it up or slowing it down. I mean, uh, you can uh, decrease the speed or, you know, increase the speed. It is all in your hand. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I, I have to go. Uh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. My you. pleasure, man. My pleasure, Mr. Hugo. Okay. That's Apart great. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, you know, I'm a teacher. I, you know, teachers are sharing something. You cannot find a teacher who is not sharing. You know, even, for example, when you are teaching something, you are sharing your knowledge, obviously, right? So right. This, is, this, is, this is a part of my job. I mean, I have to share something, right? Right, of course. Exactly. Cool. So, uh, sir, uh, I wanted to ask about something. Of course. Uh, I'm struggling with the memorizing vocabulary. Uh, well, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm watching a TV show or uh, TV or anything like BBC News or CNN, I start to write down uh, the words and check pronunciation and the meaning and other examples. But I can't force myself to return back again to these words because I don't know why I have uh, everyday new words so I keep just write down these words I and see. I never ever return back to them again so what's the benefit to write down new new words this this is the point I'm struggling about fantastic question fantastic question actually again I have to tell I uh, specifically and exclusively created a video about this topic create a video about this topic okay right now maybe i cannot find it but you can go to my channel go to vocabulary go to playlist go to playlist okay and then go okay. to vocabulary part I, I think yeah it is you can find it you can find how to remember vocabulary something like this i don't remember the title of the video I okay. talked about my whole experience, my whole experience and my whole method that I have been I have been using and doing it for a long time. Okay, uh, so you can watch that. If you do not uh, get your answer, ask me your question again. We can talk about it, right? Okay, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will find my answer uh, most probably i hope i hope i hope you can but uh, a very very uh, small tip or not just tip a, a, a piece of information is this i am still learning new vocabularies don't worry about it i have a sort of um, specific you know um dictionary which has two million terms can you imagine two million terms wow. inside who can claim who can claim that I know all of the words I know every single vocabulary it is almost you know impossible so I am still learning vocabularies which is really okay okay and, and normal but I have to say if you really want to uh, 
you know, remember the vocabulary and why you are not remembering it because you haven't been exposed yourself uh, with those new words. That is the case. Okay. In other words, scientists, basically linguists, linguists, say that every person needs to be exposed to that specific vocabulary at least some people say 20 times some people say for 40 times you need to see that vocabulary in different forms maybe when you are reading it reading a novel you see that you come across with that word when you're listening to a podcast when you're talking to someone when you're writing something you need to be exposed to that specific vocabulary to that specific word <clears throat> for at least a several i mean several times after that you can you will start learning but of course in that video i talked about my own techniques my own method to i mean uh, how to remember vocabulary yeah i am all ears guys hello, if you want to... hello who is this i am Khalid. Sorry again, come again. My name is Khaled. Khaled, I'm from Egypt. Khaled. And I just join your podcast now. I see. Fantastic. Welcome. Welcome, man. Uh, nice to see you here. Thank you for your effort. My pleasure. My pleasure. You know, I have to actually uh, share. This is, this is uh, a part of my job. But of course, you know, I want to create a community especially on YouTube, so that we can talk, I can make friends, I can earn something from you guys. Some people say, teacher, I am a student, how can, you, how can I teach you something? Easy. How? By asking challenging questions. If you ask challenging questions from me, you're helping me. Why? Because you're challenging, challenging me so that I can go, I can go for, the, for that specific question and I can learn something indirectly you're helping me but of course some a couple of days ago uh i met i talk actually uh, with to a to a guy from italy he was as a, a sound technician or sound engineer something like that he 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 taught me a lesson about how how to use microphone guys how to use microphone and he said that people are you know how can I say, bringing the microphone uh, directly into their, you know, uh, what, into their mouth. But as a matter of fact, you need to, you know, uh, put the microphone in, in, in the corner of your mouth. D did you know that? I mean, this information, guys? Most probably no. No. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> when you're using microphone, his name was Alex, actually. I, yeah, he's not here. So you need to, for example, this is me. Can you see me, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is me, and this is the microphone. You have to, you have to put the microphone over here, not directly in front of your your mouth. The microphone should be, I mean, like diagonal. Understand? For example, I learned. Yeah. Sorry? Actually, thank you, sir, for this uh, one because I'm trying right now to be a voiceover artist. And this this information will help me a lot. Okay, actually, actually, my you can also find that I shared this video that he was he was lecturing about how to use microphone. It is available on my YouTube. Again, go to video part. I think it should be I'm in the front uh, in the first row because I cannot share all of the videos right now. I have. I have created yeah, like yeah. 100 and maybe 70 or 50 videos so far. So it is it is better for you to go there and find that specific video. And I didn't talk. He talked and he, he told us actually how to use microphone. And uh, you can also learn. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello, man. Who is this? I'm Atif. Matif, where are you where are you talking from? Atif, Atif, Atif. Yeah, I'm where from are Pakistan, you? bro. And uh... Pakistan. Yep. Cool. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, 
I just came uh, hit the room. I just I was just listening you. Mm -hmm. Can you please ask? Uh, can I ask uh, a question from you? Of course, I love questions. You've been teaching. Come again? I couldn't. I couldn't hear that. I was asking that. Uh, where are you from, basically, and how long you have been teaching? Cool. Of course. Sorry, because uh, you know, new people are just coming. You know. Uh, it is difficult to repeat the whole thing again and again, but of course, I, I am happy that you asked this question. This is teacher May Sam. I am originally from Iran, but I live in Istanbul, Turkey. I have been teaching English for, I can say, 12 years, 12 years, but uh, I have been dealing with English as well as, um, you know, using it, let's say, using English for almost 22 years. 22 years and nice to meet you mm -hmm. how, how did you find this uh this job is it a challenging or of course. you know of course every <laughs> single job is a challenging one no but uh you know teaching a language i guess is a more difficult uh job you know because i myself is a mathematics teacher uh, but i personally believe that Teaching of a language is, uh, you know, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. You know, uh, teaching itself, I mean, the teaching uh, system or psychology is difficult. I mean, every single job is difficult. You cannot find a job which is really easy. It is, maybe it, it can seem easy but if you ask that person who is doing that job, he or she would say, no, it is not easy. Or I paved the way, maybe they say. You know, do you know what paved the way mean? Paved the way means you get, you make the um, way ready, which means that maybe, for example, you have been working on something, on a project, on, on, on anything for years and years and years. What we see right now is the result of, let's say, that five years, those five years, okay? Because that person actually paved the way, got everything ready for himself or herself. We see the result. People see the result. People do not see the reality. People do not see the challenges. Yeah, this is the case. But apart from that, actually, uh, you know, Teaching is difficult, of course, because we are basically dealing with human being. You know, you have to be, I mean, I am not just a teacher in the classroom. I am a psychologist. I am a best friend. Sometimes I'm an enemy for some people. I don't know why. Sometimes <laughs> I, am a, I am a father. Sometimes I am a, I am a best friend for, for someone. Uh, some people come and share their secrets. Some people come and ask not they they do not maybe just ask about english they ask about the life and i share my knowledge so this is difficult because we have the psychological side as well as the emotional side and technical side and everything which is really difficult people are sensitive ladies are different men are different and i mean you say something they get offended. You 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 uh, use a word. They misunderstand it, and it is terrible. You cannot imagine. Of course, you're a teacher. You can understand it, but but teaching English is also really difficult. Sorry for this. Let me answer, Lucas. Lucas actually wrote something here. Is it works in any type of mic? Yeah, I mean it works with any any sort of microphone actually. Just try it, even with with your you know uh, uh, e earphones or headset or whatever you, you are calling it. Again, what I mean, if you if you keep the microphone, put it in the corner of your lips or or here, not in front of it, okay? And at least he said that. Watch that video. He he explained it. I mean, clearly. I think. Yeah, he explained everything clearly. You can watch this, okay? Uh, yeah, like that. Go and find the video. And are you teaching English or teaching skills in the classrooms? Both of them. I am teaching English as well as skills, as well as I am uh, uh, talking about 
I'm giving, you know, ideas and opinions about, you know, studying. Sometimes some uh, younger teachers are asking me questions about teaching. I try to be helpful and, and I help them out. It is like that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. You were talking, actually. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, life is not a bed of roses, definitely. Exactly. It is not easy, unfortunately. There, there is no to success, so, yeah. Unfortunately, man, you know, no pain, no gain, and the whole life is really difficult. Uh, unfortunately, it is disturbingly difficult. I don't want to be pes pessimist, but, you know, I have to be pessimist. Maybe you can understand me as a pessimist, but of course, sometimes we need to, to be pessimist. I don't want to say that, but I say I am a realist, not pessimist, because realist talks about the reality. Maybe sometimes it is positive, sometimes it is negative, but I talk about the reality. So in my opinion, the reality of life is very uh, difficult. The whole life is challenging. I think because this is this is a sort of punishment, you know, we are here in this world to be punished, right? To suffer. Uh, oh, teacher, you are very pessimist. No, I am realist. Actually, we are here. To, we are here to suffer. You know, I mean, the, the whole life is not in balance, right? It is not like fifty-fifty. Let's say it is twenty to eighty, or maybe ten to ten uh, to ninety. I would say. You say why? For example, I am hungry. Okay, it is. It is terrible. I am hungry. So what should I do? I have to prepare something. I open the fridge and I see, okay, there is nothing left. I go to the supermarket. I have to wait. I go to the supermarket, you know, walk around, you know, grab my things and then pay for that. Come back home. Wash the things. I mean, wash the dishes and then try to cook something. And I have to be lucky enough to have a good meal. I am I have to be lucky enough to have a delicious meal and then I try to eat it. I eat it in 10 minutes, but I have been struggling to eat almost for you can understand it for a couple of hours. So let's say 3 hours struggling for that 10 minutes. So you are the mathematics teacher, you can, you know, uh, calculate the portions, right? This is, this is one of the examples. Ladies, for example, they want to, uh, you know, give birth to a child, but they have to wait for nine months. Can you imagine nine months? You have to wait. It's a challenge. This is, this is challenge, you know, difficult. Yeah. Go ahead. I am all ears, guys. Go ahead. I think Canada has, has two questions. Yeah, actually. Okay, go ahead, Khaled. Yeah, Khaled, yes, sorry. I, you know, I, sometimes I cannot follow here, follow the chat no, no, box, no, no, sorry. Mentioned. Go ahead. Yeah, of course, yeah, you have two I, questions, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just uh, want to ask you about uh, vocabulary because you mentioned that uh, you, need, you need to see this, this, ki this kind of vocabulary that you will learn it for many times. But you know my problem is that uh, I got a lot of vocabularies, but I can use it. You know, I just uh, use the alternatives that I learned it for a long time. But you know, sometimes I feel that I I should have uh, used this new vocabulary, but I can't. Okay. Yeah, I understand. This one I question. Understand. Yeah, very good question, actually. You know, speaking is an art, okay? That is why you say, oh, for example, imagine, are you are you from Egypt too? Khalid is Arabic name. Yeah, I'm from Egypt. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, I'm, I'm sure that in your country, of course, you have a lot of public speakers. Men, women, no problem, right? public speakers in Arabic, right? You have it. Yeah, sure. You're yeah. A, you're an Arabic person. You're an Ar uh, Arabic man. You speak Arabic. Arabic is your mother tongue. You say, oh my God, this public speaker is fantastic. 
I don't know how I cannot I cannot understand how he or she actually can use Arabic very well but I can't this is what you think maybe that person is Arabic you you are Arabic too but what is the problem the problem is again speaking is practical skill is uh, how can I say uh, is a form of art you need to be an artist you need to practice it a lot I of course I don't want to say I mean generalize it but I would say every single person is an artist because everybody has a has a talent I am sure about it if you don't have any talent you haven't found it yet go for it and you can you should find your talent those people's talent it maybe is speaking if you want to improve it be a hard work hard, hard working person and improve your speaking okay watch a lot listen imitate and question ask to say okay how those people are speaking english how they are um, finding the vocabulary what is their secrets youtube search watch they are free spend some time go on youtube and watch for that watch ted talks guys ted talks great resource great look at those people and see how they are using english some of them are not i mean native speakers they are talk those people are uh, non-native speakers but they speak very well so practice yeah. practice a lot read you say uh, i cannot speak very well because i don't have uh, a lot of vocabulary read a lot reading is the shortcut for vocabulary by reading a lot when i when i say read i don't mean to read just short stories of course these are important short stories novel read good books good books challenging books Psycho read psychology read philosophy read sociology read economy no problem read everything learn i am sure that you can learn at least one paragraph from from one book this is for sure at least and when you talk, yeah. you use one paragraph from this book, you, you connect that paragraph to that book, that paragraph to that book, and then they say, oh, wow, Khaled is speaking Arabic or English or whatever language. Fantastic. Very well. So this is maybe because of the knowledge and information that people have. So it is not just with speaking, by improving yourself, by learning and improving your knowledge, increasing your knowledge, your speaking can also, uh, you know, be improved. Yeah. Yeah. What about next question? The next question is, you know, uh, the previous time or period, I felt that I achieved uh, a good progress in in my English uh, skills. You know, I felt that I become uh, speaking uh, well and. I have a lot of vocabularies, but you know, uh, suddenly I felt that I forgot everything about English. I can't, I can't speak with anybody. So uh, I like a uh, run away because I felt that I'm, I can't speak. I don't know why, what that happened to me. Okay. And uh, by the way, I spent a lot of time, uh, like to get a vocabulary, to listen, uh, to read, and uh, I feel that I didn't get any progress. I didn't get improving. Uh, why do you feel that? You feel that you forget vocabulary, you mean? Yeah, suddenly I, I, I find out that I can't speak. I, I speak slowly. I can speak uh, quickly. I, 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 I'm thinking a lot to about what i i need to say or what i supposed to say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i understand i understand your question very common question actually very good question you know because you didn't practice very very easy peasy listen uh we have four skills guys listen carefully guys welcome first of all welcome on board if i do not share something i i will go crazy you know this is one thing another one is this i receive this question a lot as an answer i would say listen listen very carefully guys listen very very carefully normally we have four skills okay 
listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Right? Okay. Two skills are receptive. Receive. We are receiving these skills. Input. Listening and reading. Why? Because when we listen and when we read, we receive the information. Okay? We, we receive the message, the information, because they are receptive. The other two skills, like speaking and uh, writing, they are productive skills, which means we are producing information, we are producing messages, right? Okay. This is very important. Another thing that I have to say is productive skills like speaking and, and uh, writing are, how can I say, practical skills, practical, which means that you need to practice it a lot, okay? Before, let, I think most of people here, uh, of course, you are following football, right? Football, of course, for sure. Yeah. Even, even ladies uh, follow far better than men these days. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Anyway, cool. Before pandemic, before COVID nineteen, football was great. Look at look at the team. Look at the Champion League. Teams are destroyed. Those professional football players are gone. They are, <laughs> yeah, you know, they're professional football players. Yeah. They've been playing football for That's for ages. Correct. Because they, they, they stopped practicing. All, although the foot, football itself is their profession, is their passion. They, they always play football. They, they are so careful about their body. They are careful about diet. They are careful about everything. They have different, different doctors. Okay. Or coaches or whatever. You see their performances. You see, look at their performance. It's terrible, normally. Yeah. See, because of the pandemic, yeah. because of the stopping. They have been playing football for 10 years, 20 years. After, I mean, stopping for six months, okay? Their potential, their performance dramatically decreased, okay? This is very live example that I have to say. I said they, they wasted their high high stage or performance. Exactly, exactly. Why? Because they, they stopped practicing it. So this is football. That is sport. Sport is, you know, based on your, how can I say, your body and hands and, and feet or whatever, part of your muscles. body. Your muscles. But language is very mysterious one because it is base, basically a cognitive skills because you know you're using your brain you're using a lot of stuff you have to think you have to recall you have to challenge yourself do this that and then speak you definitely need to practice it piano like piano imagine in the beginning you cannot play very well where is do okay do is here re mi fa sol la si in the beginning it is miserable after two years your fingers, everything is fast, right? Easy, uh, for, uh, one of the live, you know, examples I have to mention. You can play fast, comfortably. Of course, maybe sometimes you make mistakes, no problem. But you play because you practice it for two years, for 10 years, for 20 years, for 50 years. Imagine if you stop, you're going to the gym. Very easy, easy example. Go to the gym, you build up your muscle, your favorite shape. Stop it. Stop it for one week. Maybe not one week. For one month. Then let's talk. You stop. You do it professionally. You stop going to the gym. You stop doing the exercises. Your body collapses. Your body makes you unhappy. Okay? So if you, do, if you cannot speak very well, if you start to forget it because you, you don't have enough practice, this is super, super easy. Easy to answer, actually. You don't have enough practice. Practice it. Practice it. Oh, teacher, I don't have friends. I don't have partner. Okay, you don't have partner. But you have this. Use it. How? Let me let me give my some of my ideas. Number one idea. Long time ago, before internet was very popular, teachers used to say, Go and stand in front of the mirror and talk. I, right now, it is so absurd, right? 
no, no one can go in front of their, their, their mirror and talk. It is outdated. It is, it is gone. I would say, if you don't have any friend, if you don't have any partner, I would say, Google a topic, your favorite topic, any kind of topic. It, it doesn't have to be difficult. Uh, find a good topic. Talk about your hometown. Talk about your hobbies. Start, start from easy. Don't say, okay, I am C1 level. I am advanced. No problem. We are not competing with anyone. You are, we are here to improve it. Find a topic. Google it. Find information. Don't copy and paste it. Read the articles, basically from Wikipedia. Read the articles, but rewrite it with your own words, okay? Important, with your own words. Write it. Write, a part, write an article or whatever, sort of essay. And then make a PowerPoint. Listen carefully. Make a PowerPoint. Okay, on office PowerPoint. You have a camera, right? You have a telephone. Put the telephone in front of yourself. Okay, listen carefully. Put the telephone in front of yourself. Push the button. Record yourself. Okay. You see, I am comfortable right now with you guys. There are like 20 people here. I am comfortable. I, am, I, I open my camera. In the beginning, I, it was a mess. <laughs> it was terrible. But then... Step by step, after practicing, even me, I, of course, as a teacher, by practicing again and again, again and again, over and over, over and over, I am very comfortable. Give a lecture for yourself, record yourself, give a lecture to yourself, and then watch yourself and find your mistakes. Find your mistakes. Do it again and again. Do it again and again. Okay? You can do it. Again, a, a couple of minutes ago, I said use Google Translate. Free tool, right? Google Translate. Talk to it. Talk to it, you know? Um, or if you have iPhone, talk to iSiri. Talk to... What is the what is the robot in, in Google, in Android? I forgot the name. Google Assistant? Google Assistant, yes. You can talk to that, too. Okay? Talk. Push yourself. Read a, read a passage to Google Translate and see. Look at, look at your pronunciation and see how much you were understandable for the robot. Google is a robot. How much you were understandable for the robot. Okay. When, once you do it, Instagram. I am not very uh, active on Instagram. I was, not anymore. On Instagram, guys, you can find tremendous amount of native or non-native teachers who are going live face to face you can go live and talk to them face to face okay this is another alternative this platform is fantastic platform you can join if i'm if i'm live you can join my uh, lectures if someone else is live join your uh, your friends uh, you know platform talk push yourself come out of your comfort zone oh teacher i i make it, i make, i i don't want to make a mistake no problem I make mistake in my mother tongue. What are you talking about? I, so English is not your mother tongue. What happens? So there's a possibility of making mistakes. Don't worry about it. Be cool. Be comfortable. You know. Be comfortable. I make mistakes. Make mistakes. Correct it. Make make mistake mistakes. Go go and and look up a dictionary. Be friends with your dictionaries, guys. Don't trust any native speaker. Don't trust your teacher, but your dictionary. Dictionary is the, the judge. Okay, Dictionary is everything. Use dictionaries. Cambridge Dictionary. Cambridge Online Dictionary is for free. I use it. It is free, legally free. And it is fantastic. It has both, uh, obviously, British accent and pronunciation and, uh, and American pronunciation as well as the phonetics, as well as the definition and examples and sometimes connotations and expressions and everything. Use it. This is a huge source. I use Cambridge Dictionary for my classes too because its language is easy. Some people say, okay, what about Merriam-Webster? Merriam-Webster is awesome, but the language is difficult for you. You, you. you can be demotivated. Longman is awesome. Oxford, all of these dictionaries are fantastic. I say, I would say go for Cambridge Dictionary. It is nice. It, it uh, explains things in, a, in an easy language. Okay? 
like that. Yes, connection, no perfection. Exactly, man. Exactly. We need to connect. We need to uh, talk to people and be understood uh, by people. They are expensive. What do you mean? Which platform or platforms are expensive? What are you talking about? Okay, teacher. I'm, I'm going to talk to, uh, to you about my calendar to work on my first skills, okay? Uh, first of all, when I wake up, I start to listen uh, to any podcast or any uh, YouTube video or TV show. And then start to uh, write uh, my favorite book. What the same you took to yourself? It, it's a self-help book, okay? Uh, and then write down something I have understood from the podcast and uh, this book. And then start here to speak to anybody. Okay, uh, but um, I'm struggling with I stopped to take notes. At first, at the beginning, I start to take notes and memorize them and... Everything is perfect. When I start uh, to read this book, I start to take uh, any any expression, any new word, and try to apply them whenever I'm speaking. But now, you know, I just keep listening, keep reading, and keep doing everything. But um, you know, I'm not looking looking up for uh, the new words. So is it is it okay, or I have to return back to my my beginning but you know it's so hard to look it up if we not every word you know whenever you meet a new word you have to look it up to see examples or to write it down it takes time and i wanted to work on uh, my life you know other stuff in my life so what's your opinion you can judge me of course you know you don't have to just look up any single word that you don't understand it, okay, or you don't know actually. Try to find the meaning from the uh, from the sentence, from the context. Actually, this is what I this is this is not what I say. This is what the uh, the books are actually saying. You know, the experts also are saying this, and uh, do it if you see. Oh, I can I cannot understand it at all. In that case, go and look up a dictionary. There is no other choice. If if the if the material, if the book or novel or novella or whatever is very uh, difficult, okay, don't read it. It is not suitable for your level. Find a good... Listen, let me give you a very, very interesting technique. Imagine that this is a book, okay? I don't know my level. L Leandro, Leandro Porto. I will answer your question. Hold on, sir. Listen. For example, this is a short story. For example, this is not, but this is a short story. I don't know my level, or maybe I know my, my level, but I want to buy a book. What should I do? Good, good question. Take a book, take a book and uh, you say, okay, I like the picture, I like everything. Listen, randomly open the book, okay? Randomly open the book, put your hand... Put your hands on, on the page, for example, let me, okay, for example, over here, you see, this is passage. Put your hand on the page, okay, randomly, and try to find words, hold on, how can I show it to you guys? Try to hold, try to find words. For example, what I find here is, for example, fame, 15, farmer, succeed, Thought, beginning, from, was, value, honesty, blah, blah, blah. If, if, if there are a lot of new words for you on, it, on that random page, this is extremely difficult. If it is like 10 words, it is again difficult. If it is 5, 6, it is good. If it is like 1 or 2, it is, uh, it is normal. But if there is no new word for you, that most probably that book is very easy for you. Understand? This is one of the old techniques. I think you, you haven't heard this before. You can use, you can apply this technique when you, when you try to buy a new book. And then uh, when the book is um, uh, suitable 
uh, with your level so that you can easily start to understand <clears throat> sorry start to understand it and enjoy reading book uh, Leandro says what is the limit between English English levels yeah English levels are like basically beginner or starter a a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 levels like that who is the teacher here the, the teacher is is me who is talking at actually the teacher who uh, who is talking and who you are seeing it yeah cool i hope i answered your question yeah of course of course you have answered my question okay hopefully hopefully Thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah. Lion says, what do you think about people obsessed for imitating native accents? You know, uh, everybody's uh, obsession is like that, actually. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, you know, imi imitation is good, but of course, uh, being obsessed with accents or s to have a specific accent is absurd. I, we talked about this, actually is absurd so <clears throat> try to focus on your pronunciation uh, but of course you can follow uh, a, a sort of a specific accent too it can um, make learning process really enjoyable yeah take care of yourself oh my god people yeah obsessed with imitating natives accents or crazy everyone should be free to speak with with a very bad accent yeah of course don't worry actually uh, Jack uh, is uh, correct and uh, yeah don't be so obsessed with accent yeah so take care of yourselves Talk to you later. Have a good time. So take care of yourselves, guys, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. See you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you later. See you later.